Okay, so um, I have already downloaded um, the the whole package of uh, from the Cisco website um, for the Nexus 1000 uh, V5.2.1 uh, release. So um, if we extract that, you'll be able to see that there are multiple folders that get created, right? Uh, for VSM, VM, uh, and all the other stuff. So we go to the VM folder, and we'll be see that there. Are three uh, web files, um, uh, and I've noticed that this is the one that is compatible with uh, um, the uh, VSM that we are running. So we'll be uploading this on the data store, and then we'll be installing it on the ESXi host, okay? So we go to data stores, data store one, Browse data store, and we upload file. Um, CGT, right? DC. Okay. Lem, and here's the web file. So we upload it onto the ESXi host. Okay, um, we try to establish the connection, yes, um, shoot. Okay, so now we are logged in to the ESXi host. Um, so um, if you go to the CCO documentation, uh, you'll be able to see that um, uh, on the VMware documentation, uh, there's a step um, provided to do the installation of the VM module, right, for um, ESXi host running 5.x um, and the later versions. So we need to use the same CLI, right, uh, to do the installation of the VM module. So we use the same CLI, ESX CLI software web install, and slash ESX one data store one and uh, the web file, right? So this will install uh, the web module on the ESXi host. Um, It's going to take a couple of minutes to complete the installation. Uh, let me increase the font size. We are enabling terminal monitor over here. So uh, the installation has completed successfully. You can check the status of the VEM module using the command VEM status hyphen V, right? So you are able to see the V60 is installed and um, the VEM modules are loaded and it's uplink is VM next zero. So now we go back to um, our vCenter server. We go to the networking section Right, over here, in fact, we go to the host and clusters, under the section, networking, we add networking, and this time we add a VM kernel um, network um, uh, connection, right? So it's establishing um, a connection uh, for the host management, right? So on the side, we create a separate VCR standard switch and using the VNIC zero. So remember, we added three VNICs extra on the ESXi host. These are the three VNICs. So we can select one of the VNICs 
and uh, this will be used for establishing the VM kernel uh, or providing the VM kernel network access, right? So we named it VM kernel hyphen VSM, right? And uh, okay, network type IP default, this is fine. And we provide an IP address. So 192.168.244, uh, we name it, we provide IP 162, right? One, um, 255, 255, 255, zero. All right, and here we go. Uh, we are done with creating our standard VM kernel um, board group um, on the vSwitch one, right? Now we go back to networking. On the Nexus 1000 V uh, DBS, we right click and click Add Host, right? So we select the host and we select the vSwitch 1 that we added for the VM kernel, right? The settings fine, the uplink port group is the uplink that we created on the VSM, which got replicated on um, the DBS. Select this one, click on Next, on the VMK1, right, here, we use the L3Con. So now we are actually migrating um, this DVS to um, the N1K V, um, uh, the, the vCenter networking to the, um, uh, to the DVS switch, right? So after we are done with this, we click on Next, and at the same time, um, it'll be great to have a look at the terminal window of what, I have, what happens over here. Right, so next and uh, finish. So you will see here it's in progress. And here you go, your web module is up and ready. Show module, right? So you'll be able to see your web module on slot three active. So you can also do show module web, right? Uh, you can also run commands um, on the web is using module of vim3 execute vim command show port, right? So this is one uh, port that is created uh, as part of uh, uh, the vim module, right? Show interface status, there you go. Um, any, any questions? No. All right. So I'll stop the recording.